Uh, here's another surf selling video <laughs> to try to justify my existence. Look at uh, unclaimed student uh, grants. Grants for you to go to technical college to get a new career at you know 18 or 108, and no matter what age. Look at there's 2.6 billion dollars. You know, for college money, this is grant money. This is does not have to be paid back. Two point six billion dollars. This is nerd wallet. They're a big, you know, sort of hip, <laughs> as you could tell with the name, a uh, 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 hip blog, and I don't know what else they sell, but they do good research. I find some good stuff there. So this kind of stuff, where look at they say that two point six billion dollars. I mean that's. An average person who was eligible for that, but that did not apply, uh, they were they, they could have gotten four thousand dollars a year for four years. So that's four thousand. That's sixteen thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, where the heck is that? Uh, four thousand. <laughs> okay, here students receive uh, could have received nearly four thousand dollars. That's per year on average. Nationally, each student left behind three thousand nine hundred eight dollars in Pell Grant aid uh, that could have been used uh, towards whether it's a technical college, a training college. So if you're you're stuck with COVID and want to do something and you don't have money to train, man. And and actually, before you go to these nonprofit or for-profit colleges, call your local community college because they may have not only. You could use the Pell Grant easily there, and most trade schools know because they want their government money to trade you. But to me, the community colleges are a more secure bet in education training, and actually they're always hooked up with your workforce development people. That means these are the people in the government that are trying to educate enough people for the jobs that are needed to be filled. See, that's it. So you want to get that training for a job they're looking for people to fill and, and that's at your local community college, yeah, uh, because they know that, or your local career one stop. But you, but the community college usually runs a lot of their training programs, so you may want to go there. Well, it's probably best to go both. But remember, no matter what age you are, and this is income, so you make a lot of money. It's not going to be for you. Uh, but if you're low income, and so many people are now, and they're the people who really need the training and skills to get a better job. So there's here, there's money to do it. <laughs> you could probably get more money too. Uh, and, and let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I had something here. Oh, I wanted to give you uh, uh, the one thing that stops people. Oh, here's how to find your community college. It's Career One Stop, and you just put Community College Finder Career one stop.org then putting uh, when you get there you know uh, search see the little search over here in the upper right hand corner then you search for community college finder and you find your local community make an appointment try to call meet with the people how you can get trained maybe only a few months you need or maybe a year or whatever and but you get it all paid for it, you know uh, and that's important and, and you don't have to be a kid out of high school <laughs> you can be an old father like me and i can go back <laughs> and do something. And even like me, 77, I think I am, uh, I could go back and, and God, I figure I have 10, 15 more years. So that's worth training me to contribute to society. If it costs 10 bucks, 10,000 bucks to train me, I'm going to pay more of that in taxes in the next 10 years. Yeah. So that's what it's all about. But they don't know. You know so that's why you, know, you see this article again unclaimed money, 2.6 trillion. <laughs> and that's what happens to the COVID now. Well, actually, that's going fast because people know about that stuff. Uh, but the other thing, also, what I want to do is give you a free copy of, uh, oh, I have a report. I'll, I'm going to put the link in. <laughs> it's here somewhere, doctor. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put it in the, uh, you know, the description in, in YouTube that you could download a report that shows you six places in your community that will do free research for you and, and and that's important because there's so many i'll you know you could pay me for twenty dollars or try these places for free and these are people help you fill out these applications too so if you a lot of people maybe the 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 Pell Grant application be confused with that and not afraid you're doing right with that because maybe that's not stopping a lot of people doing go and get free help 
and uh, your library, your HUD free counseling offices, your elected official, all those people are available for free. And I'll give you a, a listing uh, describing all these sources, and there's about six of them locally that you could get free research up like that. And I'll put the link in, in the YouTube and, and Musco members just ask. Well, actually, I'll, I'll put it in with this uh, when I put it in when you see this in, in, in uh, the group, in the Facebook group, okay? So don't let that money laying sitting on the table. The government's so goddamn far in debt. Another two billion. You're not saving the government, but <laughs> if you don't spend that two billion dollars, you could certainly save your life or make it a hell of a lot better if you use it to train for a skill or something that you could contribute more to society. They start giving you money because they like what you do, they need what you do. Yeah. <laughs> and you get on the way again. And it's a whole new ball game from there. So